Yes, this is happening right now. What's up guys, T Mart here and today we are going to be starting up a new series here on T Martin 2. This is the original Red Dead Redemption that was released on May 18th, 2010, almost seven years ago. Absolutely insane, such an old game, but such a classic, such a great game and I can't wait to embark on this journey with you guys. So obviously Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out sometime this year in 2017, we're not sure when yet. And uh, this is meant to kind of prepare for that. So uh, you guys might see 2017 up there in the title. The reason why I put that in there is because I actually tried to do this Let's Play back in the day. It was like one of the first series I tried on this channel. And back then, Rockstar wasn't as friendly with YouTubers. Now they're super, super nice to me. I keep in touch with them. They hooked me up with care packages for GTA and stuff like that. But uh, back then, they weren't sure if they wanted people posting their game and like posting spoilers and stuff. So they actually asked me to stop my Let's Play back in the day. So those videos are still up just because they're kind of like the history of the channel. I don't want to take them down, but uh, the 2017 lets you know that this is the, the new video that we're going to be embarking on, the new series. So uh, I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are too. We're playing here on the good old Xbox 360. This is available on PlayStation 4 now. You can play it via PS Now, but um, I think you get better quality if you're playing off the disc rather than streaming the game on PlayStation, which is why we're playing it here. So uh, let's, uh, let's get into it. Here we go, guys. Press start. Scanning for installed downloadable content. We're just going to go straight into single player. Here we go, guys. I'm so excited. Oh, this is going to be awesome. John Marston right there. That's our man. Rockstar Games presents <sighs> Rockstar San Diego Production. Red Dead to Redemption. All right, guys, let's get it started. Oh, I'm excited. This is one of the best storytelling games of all time. Absolutely incredible. Way ahead of its time. We're in for a good ride. I'm grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us. Please, how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. I guess that's one way to look at it. But, Father, do you mean Unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals, but they're happier now. Uh -huh. well, these old racist white people on this train, man. <laughs> Jeez. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Uh, 
Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, the John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. And this is our stop, boys. Armadillo Station is going to be home base for now. Okay, we are gonna go to the saloon. Use LS to walk around. Use RS to look around, of course. We're used to that. Left stick is to uh, to crouch, and then A is to sprint, just like in GTA. Martin, Mr. Martin, over here. <laughs> He's getting it. John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Seems like he knows the town pretty well. I think we're gonna take a liking to Jake here. This guy's just slammered. Can't even find his way home. All righty, Mr. Marston, let's get. All right. Go ahead and mount our horse. Take it easy until we're out of town. Ain't no point in causing a rope. RB to slow and stop your horse. Okay, that makes sense. You want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Great place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as most three to back to you. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. So we're going to an old abandoned fort. Trying to meet up with somebody who we used to know. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. <laughs> Fine as cream gravy they are. <laughs> oh, like that is friends. disgusting. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? 
Oh, Jake, you silly guy, you. Yeah, so it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Jake's the talkative type and John is not. Yeah. You ain't very talkative, are you? <laughs> yeah. There I'm you just go. chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you're better off not knowing. So why are we Damn being so coyotes. secretive? Uh -oh. What a waste of good meat. Not far now, Mr. Marston. The port's just over this hill. Whew. Got off track there for a second. Why are we being so secretive? What are we up to? What's our, our mission plan here? Uh-oh, here's poor Mercer. Hey. Ooh, no. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> All right, approach Fort Mercer. This is making me a little bit nervous here, boys. Supposedly it's gang occupied. Come on. Just knock on the door? <laughs> Uh-oh. Bill, I've come for you. Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. Oh, gosh. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Oh, they got three of them. Look like I need saving. Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you. <laughs> implores. I, I implores you <laughs> to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. All right, those are fighting words. Well, what do you say, John? Uh, oh. <laughs> Poor John. Okay, well that's not good. I thought we were about to bust out in like a huge fight scene, but no, we just got shot right in the stomach. Vultures are taking a peek at us. Uh-oh. Looks like somebody might be coming to our rescue here. She could be kind of cute. Mm. 
All right, new friends, old problems. So, Bill Williamson is obviously on our hit list. Gonna have to deal with him eventually, I would assume, but uh, right now we've got bigger problems. A shot like that in those olden times, whew, we're lucky if we bounce back. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. <laughs> what were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. <laughs> Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Oh, she's single. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Just trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> you see my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic. Just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later? Help me patrol the perimeter. You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. All right. Well, Bonnie's got our back. That's crazy that uh, it was $15. Think about how much that would cost in today's cash. $15 to remove a bullet. Okay, so we need a horse. Anybody see our horse? Hmm. No clue where our horse went, but uh, I guess we're just going to hoof it over there. It's about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. Oh, sorry, girl. Clumsy me. <laughs> There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. I picked out a fine horse for you. All right. You can get your bearing. Got a new horse. Why do so many people just give you horses around here? I feel like they've got to be pretty valuable, right? Come on. General store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. <laughs> Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Well, she's good at reading people. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. It's bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is 
only good when it makes things better. Riding a horse is kind of tough, man. Keeping them going in one straight line. Whew. Working hard out here. That's the Where's my Zentorno at? Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Yeah! And here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaint from me, Miss McFarland. All right, press X when you're a hitching post to save your horse. You can only save a horse one at a time. Come on, this is the only chance you're gonna get to rest. It's already inviting us back to the crib. Wow, this is way too easy, man. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure, come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. This is a dangerous time of night for us. Uh oh, dangerous time of night. What could we be dealing with here? Coyotes? Bears? Indians? Who knows? Right, follow me. Keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. Okay. We got this. I'm with you, girl. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. <laughs> Just waiting for something to pop out at us. I don't believe it. Those damn rabbits are back. Give me a hand with them, will you? Get your rifle out. It's about time these little thieves met their maker. All right, get rid of the rabbits. With LT to draw your current weapon. Then you just aim like that. Oh, it's got auto aim. It's got lots of auto aim. Woo! Okay, well that was easy. Much obliged for the help. Them rabbits can be wily little critters. Let's get back on the horses and see what else is going on. Holy cow. I'm feeling like a pro. Just killed it. Ooh. It's scary. Normally you don't want to go back going. behind a horse. Still a ways to go. They like to kick you. I guess if you're comfortable around horses and they can sense that, they probably wouldn't kick you, but... If it's Typically. not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Was that a coyote? Get those pets before they scare the livestock. Uh oh. Off. All right, exterminate the coyotes. Coyote got him. Woo, oh, girl, you gotta watch out. I almost shot your horse. Yeah, between me and the coyote. All right, whoa, this is... All right, things are picking up here. Got him. Come on. Call us John Deadeye Marston, because we don't miss, baby. Let's go. Well, we got rid of the coyote. Freak the horses out. You mean we can't, we can't share? You heard about that sharing light? I guess we did say that we had a wife. You know, so. you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. 
Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Here we are. All right, let's go ahead and tap our horse. Get severed from your horse and we'll return to the hitching post outside of your house. Well, that's nice. Well trained. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. <laughs> Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. It's time for bed. There's a change of season in the air. I feel it in my patient's bones. 